I'm generally speaking not a fan of using the command a second time when the dog's actually, actually doing it. You hear the traditional thing was, sit, good sit, right? Down, good down, right? And so people would basically repeat the, say good, you did what I wanted, and then repeat the command, saying you did that well, right? And generally I try to avoid that because at best I don't think it does anything, right? The, the value came from the initial conditioned reinforcer. Down, good, right? There's the reward. You rewarded down, it's good. What follows after that is at best not necessary and, and not useful. At worst, you make the dogs less responsive to their commands because most commands are supposed to be a prompt to action, right? So down, when I say down, you're supposed to do something. If you're already doing it, then they can't respond to it, and so you undermine their responsiveness to it. And there are, for certain dogs, it makes them less likely to respond right, when you do that. There's a proofing thing later on where we ask dogs to do a behavior and then repeat the command they're doing it. So let's, let's take positions as an example. I've taught my dog to sit down and stand. right? So I can say sit, down, stand, down, sit, stand, whatever order. My dog will do these things. right? And so I ask my dog to do it. and then if my dog's in a sit and I say sit again, they frequently offer one of the other two behaviors in the early stages of training, right? They think they hear a sound, they're supposed to do something. They're already sitting, so they should try one of the other two, right? And so in the early stages of training, then they'll offer another behavior when you give them a command while they're already in that command, even if it's the command that they're doing, right? So there's a point in more advanced training where I proof them off of that. You're in a down and I'll say down again to make sure they don't say, well, I'm supposed to do something when you say, so, so I'm downing already, so I'm supposed to offer. So I'll proof off that, but I don't like the, using the command again because it can undermine responsiveness to the command, right? It's like, and dogs don't learn that way. What was relevant there was the conditioned reward, the good part and the reward that followed. That was what was relevant, right? If you came across your dog in the living room laying down, you couldn't say down and feed them and think like, okay, they're going to learn to down that way, right? <laughs> I, they can't, it's an action. And so tr I try not to repeat the commands uh, when the dog's actually in the position doing it uh, or after my, my reward marker. People that have learned that way, a lot of the traditional trainers used to do that a lot. When I started, there were lots of trainers doing that uh, before we kind of understood the psychology of what was going on there. Um, and it's a hard habit to break for people that have learned to do it that way. The sit, good sit, down, good down. Right, come, good, come kind of thing is a hard habit to break. But I would encourage you not to, to do that in, 